Welcome to Living the Empowered Life channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content that's empowering, encouraging and inspiring. On this channel, I share with you things to help you live the empowered life. So if this is the type of content that you're after, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about spring cleaning your life. Obviously, it is to do with the time of year that it is. A lot of people at this time of year do spring cleaning. Things to do with tidying up their house, rearranging stuff, chucking stuff out, reorganizing. This is stuff that I do anyway all year round, but at springtime, I do pay extra effort to do all the other little things that I probably don't do as much, like cleaning windows, cleaning skating boards, all this type of stuff. And people do spring cleaning at this time of year because they want to be fresh for the year ahead. So what am I talking about when I say a spring life clean? Basically, it is looking at all the different areas within your life and seeing what you can do to change aspects of your life that are not working, to revitalize areas of your life that may be stagnant. It's about giving different areas of your life a bit of a boost. For a lot of people, this can be quite tricky because they know that things in their life are stagnant or things need to change, but they're not exactly sure about where to start. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about four areas that you can start to look at spring cleaning. So the first area is in relationships. Do you have people around you who are toxic? negative, people who add nothing to your life, maybe then it's now time to reevaluate those relationships. In order to grow, you need people around you who are encouraging and positive. You need people who are going to uplift you, who are going to champion you, people who are going to support you, even if they might not understand the vision or the purpose for the things that you're trying to do in your life, they support you because they believe in you. These types of people want you to be the best that you can be. And toxic negative people don't bring anything to the table. People who are always criticizing, putting you down, trying to make you second guess yourself, always got something to say that is not a solution or productive to what it is you're trying to achieve in your life. These types of people are not going to help you go any further in the things that you want to do. So one of the things I would say to you as a tip in being able to spring clean your relationships, whether they're with friends, associates or colleagues, is look at how they are benefiting your life. Are these relationships encouraging, supportive? Are they positive? Are they relationships that you feel secure in? Are they relationships that you feel that you can trust? Focus on the relationships that are encouraging and positive. The relationships where it's give and take. You both give and you both take. You both pour into that powerful relationship. Not the relationships where you're doing all the giving and the other person is doing all the taking. If those relationships don't fall into these types of criterias or don't have these kind of traits, then it is time to distance yourself from these relationships. So the second area I would recommend that you look at spring cleaning in is in your career or job. Do you dread getting up on Monday morning and going into your job? Do you feel a sense of dread every time you think about it? Do you get anxiety at night thinking you've got to go in there the next day, be around people you don't want to be around, do a job that you absolutely hate? Are you really unhappy inside, but you're in this job because, well, it's a paycheck, it keeps a roof over your head, but that's about it? Well, I would recommend to you to start looking at this area of your life. That was one of the reasons why I left my job at 41 years old to start my own business, because I just wasn't happy. And not even a paycheck could persuade me to stay. I decided to risk it all in order to go after the things that were going to make me happy in my life, things that I was passionate about, things that I really wanted to do. It is important in whatever you're doing that you are happy in doing it, that you find joy in doing it. God didn't give you or me our lives to be slave to a paycheck. Our lives are meant to be productive, fruitful, meaningful. It's supposed to be about purpose, about passion. It's supposed to be about all these things. 
if you are at a stage in your career or job and you're feeling some of the things that I've shared in this video, it is time to reevaluate. Think about the things that you are passionate about and start to look on a way of how you can start taking the steps to do those things. I know it can be hard, I know it can be scary, and that is why I developed a courage course based on my own experiences of things that I did to start to step out into the unknown to do the things I'm doing now to help you. And I will leave a link to that online course in the description box below. But if you feel like this, and you've been feeling like this for a long time, it is time to have a look at this area of your life. If you're not happy in your current post but you still want to stay within that company maybe look at another department to see if you can do something different or new if it is to do something totally different like start a business or do something you're passionate about look at courses that are going to help you to develop in that area to get the knowledge and the education that you need to do that also as well, what you can do is to start to do things within your own time outside work to develop in that area as well, because education and knowledge is really good. Obviously, that gives you kind of the, the theory and the know-how, but practice is what's going to get you to that next level as well. That's one of the things that have been key to helping me with all the things that I'm doing within my own company, Yimmy Empowerment. If you're not sure about the direction you want to go in, think about the things that you are passionate about. Sometimes these can be clues and indicators indicators of things that you should be doing. So don't stay stuck in your career or job, you know, start to try and make those small moves to revitalize in that area of your life. So another area I want to talk to you about has been cleaning your life in is health and diet. As you know, we've been in lockdown for nearly a year now. A lot of people have put on a lot of weight. It's something that I have actually struggled with the last year. I put on an extra few pounds and I've had to lose it all. And as you get older, trust me, it doesn't get easier. But health and diet is so important because your body is like your productivity machine. If you are not looking after your health or your diet, this can have an effect on you in terms of, you know, you might be more prone to being ill or run down or just lacking energy. There are a few things that I would recommend to you in terms of spring cleaning your diet and your health. First thing I would say to you is to start exercising. You may not be keen on going to the gym, that is okay. There are YouTube videos out there where you can do any number of workouts for any amount of time. I do an equivalent of a 5K walk three times a week besides exercise just to clear my head, you know, to kind of recharge myself mentally and to get my heart rate up, my cardio up. Also, in terms of food and diet, try and minimize sugary foods, banish them if you can, or have a cheat day where you eat the things that you want to eat within, obviously, moderation. Look at, you know, eating foods that are good for you, like vegetables, fruits. And also another thing I would suggest that you start to look at is intermittent fasting. I've been doing this for a few months and I absolutely love it. Intermittent fasting is one of those things that will help you to regulate your eating time, your eating window. There are plenty of ways where you can get support with your diet. You don't necessarily have to do Weight Watchers if you don't have the money for that. If you go on the internet, there are loads of free kind of diet plans that you can access. Also, YouTube is a great resource for people who are on their own health journey, who share the foods and different things that they are eating that is helping them to change their lifestyle. If you struggle with eating the wrong foods, it might be worth sitting down and thinking about why that is. I know for me last year, I struggled with eating the wrong foods because I was emotionally comforting myself. It felt good to eat all the sugary treats. It felt good to, you know, eat what I wanted, but there was a price to pay for that. And that price was I put on way too much weight. I was the heaviest I had ever been since having my 14 year old daughter. And that is saying something. And I've had to work extremely hard to lose all that weight. I'm nearly there now, but it was a lesson learned for me that I needed to not only watch the foods that I was eating, but also think about what was going on in my mind, because that is where a lot of things start from. And the last area I want to share with you about spring cleaning in is in the area of your mind. As you may or may not know, your mind is where a lot of things are formed. Have a think about the things that you are putting into your mind. 
are they helpful are they productive are they good for you a lot of people don't think about what they put into their mind and this is an area that God says that we need to be always conscious of because in what we put into our mind will manifest itself in a different way in our life being transformed by the renewing of your mind is renewing your mind with the word of God with things that is edifying things that are uplifting things that are positive you have to spring clean your mind by giving your mind new information and new knowledge to take in giving your mind things that are positive to take in these things don't happen overnight it might just be at the beginning in these areas just making those small changes doing those small steps i would encourage you to write down those four areas that i've mentioned health and diet career relationships and mindset write down one or two things that you can start to implement straight away these as i said don't have to be big changes at first but just small things to get you on track so i will leave links to the courage course down below in the description box and i will see you on the next one take care